Hello everyone. Today is a video about the Easter lighting. Many of my students they feel very difficult and confused when they create and control the lighting, and they ask me that we use some special skill, a special lighting for create that thing. But it actually not complicated like this, and I will show you in this video. And this is the before, and this is the after. And now we have this one without any light. So let's create the new one. And I will use a very basic lighting element. I will use the Corona Sun. And let's go to the modify and add the corner sky to the environment. And this is what we got right now. And if you feel like your your render right now is too bright or too dark, don't change the intensity of the sun. And let's go to the corona tone mapping and change the exposure. And you can easy to control the overall lighting of your scene with this one. Just leave the corner sun and sky with the default setting. Now our render is just too bright. It have a lot of highlight and it lack of shadow. And the shadow will create a contrast and more important a layer. Okay, so let's make a simple test. Let's create something in here and see what happens. Okay, let's move it a little bit and just with the box and we can create a contrast for this scene. Now our eye can easy to focus on this area. Okay, now we replay this box with a tree model. Oh, I already set up layer for this tree right here so we just need to enable it. I just the same tree, the same proxy I use for the far right. I just create a group for easy to moving and control the shadow. And now our shadow have more detail. And this is the before. It's not bad, but our eye hard to find the focus point when everything is bright like this. And we need the shadow or the dark color to cover that thing and use the highlight to create a focus point. And another way we can use to create a shadow is this one, a plane. Can you see it? The effect is the same, but it doesn't make the scene heavy and it easy to render. And this is how we make it. I will use the black and white map with the shape of tree we drag it in the opacity of the Corona Legacy material and that's all you need to do. Now we have the contrast, but I think the shadow is not good enough. It's still bright. So let's make this foreground more darker. We open the Corona Sky in the material and lower this intensity. And you see, when the foreground is more darker, that means you create a stronger contrast and our eye can easy to focus the object on the highlight area. And if I do this, if I increase the intensity, you see, now our render looks very flat. So, careful about the contrast of your scene. First, we have a little bit problem right now. Yeah. If it decreases the intensity too much, the sky on the background is darker too. And we don't want this. So, let's make the copy of the corner sky. In increase the intensity. Enable the direct override. Keep this one a new sky map.
and all sky is price again. Now we have two sky. One it control the intensity of orange, and one it control the intensity of the background. And careful with the height of the sun. You change it and everything will change. And in some case, if you want the sun to stay right there. But I don't like this color. It's too white for me. We just want the warm tone. So let's change this color from the rustic to the cave-in. And we can set up the color we want. I usually use this to change the tone mood of the lighting. Okay, now let's put some effects into this render. So the idea is make sure I less focus on this area. How? We will use the volume magic effect. Enable this one. And we use a mastero called the Corona Volume Mastero. And this is what we got, guys. The shadow now it look more soft. This is when we don't use the volume. We have strong contrast, we have hard shadow. This might or image look a little bit of heavy. And by the way, we can use the distance to control and make the fog thinner or thicker. And the last one, but not at least, as we can we can use the scattering to control the color of the volume. In this case, I want to make it more cool tone to contrast with the warm tone of our house. Okay, but let's cancel this one because we don't want too much effects on orange. Okay, and that's all I want to share with you today. Let's see you guys in the next video.